I, I have absolutely no idea what ha what just happened. But it's happened to me before, and I don't know how to fix it when it happens. My YouTube app crashes, and then when I open it back up, it says that I'm still streaming, but it won't let me go back to the stream, so I have to delete it and start a whole new stream, and I apologize. Um, it, it's a big pain that I'd rather... Oh, I was done with the stitch that I'd rather not deal with. But it happened, and I can't fix it. Whatever. I don't remember what I was talking about, or even if I was talking about anything. Oh, I was talking about little critters. Um, I hate them. Bottom line. Um. Oh! <gasps> tea! Uh, that, that, um, that happened today. Kiro is finally being held accountable for the horrible acts that he did. He is under police investigation. Although he's saying, he's saying on his Twitter, I don't follow him, but I'm just seeing, like, retweets of people, like, telling him to get out, like, Nas Hyena, um, reply and be like, get out of her fandom. <laughs> and then, um, uh, Rika, uh, Vixen, Duke, I don't know, but, uh, she replied with, like, a, a, a gif, and that's what made me see it. New evidence was, was, um, found uh, recently. I didn't see it because I went to go watch it, but then I realized I had to download it, and I was like, I don't want this video. It was a, vid it was a video of Kiro and, and his old dog. Uh, allegedly. I didn't see it, so I don't, I can't say for sure, but that's what it was, uh, allegedly. Um, but, uh, um, the thing is, Kiro said that he was like, once I'm done, once the police investigation is over, I'm going to make a final statement about this whole situation, and then Kiwi Cabot replied saying, How, you better make the statement before it's over, because you ain't gonna make a statement in jail! Oh! And I, I was like, this is it, Chief. This is it. <laughs> I, I, don't, I haven't known what it, what is it and what isn't it this whole time, but this is it. <laughs> and I, I like lost it but like he I'm so glad that he was finally being held accountable for what he did instead of the fact that he didn't address it he cause he well he, he addressed it and then he um like he he said that it was a hacked attempt and then that was thoroughly disproven and then that one that one um YouTuber, one for a YouTuber is like a dragon sprite that he talks with, got definitive proof from Kiro that it was all real. All the conversations were real. Although, according to that video, um, have you heard of a game called Deltarune? Yes, I live on the internet. Of course I've heard of it. I don't have a computer to play it on, though, so I can't play it, and that makes me very sad. Um, what was I saying? Oh, according to that video, Kiro said that he never actually acted on his urges to do these disgusting acts. And I was like, hmm, you know, <laughs> I don't believe that. Because there's, there's just so much, there's so much evidence against him. And it's, it's, uh. It's so upsetting that the person who represented our fandom on a huge platform ended up being a disgusting human being. It's unfortunate that such a popular furry in general ended up being such a disgusting human being. It, it's really unfortunate and horrible. I made a whole video about it, actually. Uh, didn't get any views, so that's cool. <laughs> um... I'm glad Shane took down the video, like, right away. And, like, people kept saying, like, oh, I want to see Shane make a statement about it. And it's like, Shane had no business making a statement about it. Shane's not a furry. He doesn't know what's going on. No one, when, when Kiro did the interview with Shane, no one knew, except probably the people in the Zoo Sadist chat, that he was doing that stuff. So, none of us had any reason to be like, oh, Kiro shouldn't, I mean, Kiro definitely not the best representation to be on Shane's channel, but 
you know, it, it, none of us knew at the time that this was going to be exposed and that, you know, Kiro it, did that stuff. So it's like, Shane had no, no business making a statement. He doesn't know anything about the furry fandom. Like, what was he going to say? Oh, this person did a horrible thing? Oh, did people expect him to jump and be like, yeah, let's make a new furry video? That's not his content anymore. That was barely his content then, even. Like, he did, like, th two or three interviews with, like, people with, like, weird lifestyles. He did one with, like, a furry, uh, uh, I think a little, and, a, like, a vampire or something. And I think that was it. And then that's, like, what started his whole, you know, docu-series thing, I feel. That's when it really, you know, when his channel changed. Um, anyway. Um, oh, I just stabbed the needle into my skin. Cool. Anyway, I, I, that got me heated. Um, it, I don't know, it's just a horrible thing. Bug, have you played Pokemon Moon? No. Or maybe. I don't know. I don't play Pokemon. No, I have not. Uh, I don't play, um, Pokemon games. I don't like them. Um, oh, Bug, you and one other YouTube made me want to cut my hair, and I ended up doing that. Okay, I hope you didn't shave it off. Because that's a bad decision. What fursuit are you making? I guess you need fursuit. This one. The one that's in the thumbnail. Um... Well, the lighting in the thumbnail was horrible, so don't blame me for asking, especially since I restarted the stream because my YouTube crashed. Anyway, my stomach hurts, and I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but actually I don't know why. <laughs> anyway. I feel like I'm going to get a bloody nose after sneezing earlier, which is scary. Because I don't like getting bloody noses while... <laughs> I just remembered something horrible. So my last commission that I did, the foam base was originally for a fursuit for a, I was going to make for a friend, um, and so I had drawn on it in blood. I cut it out of the foam base, but I just remembered that, and then it turned into a commission. Speaking of thumbnails, why does it look like you stubbed your toe? Every stream thumbnail I do, I, I look like that. Because I hate fursuit making, and I want to display that in my face. How do you sew the fur to the foam? You don't. You glue it on. Which I'll actually be doing pretty shortly. Um, although I have to like, trim a bunch of these edges. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm sewing right now. I, I sew with a with a blanket stitch, like, you, know, you can see it there. Nice, like, tight blanket stitch. So it doesn't come apart. I hand sew everything. I got TikTok and I don't know what to do on it. Uh, delete it. I have TikTok. I haven't uploaded it on a, on a, 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 hello? I haven't uploaded it. Nope. I haven't posted on it in a while because it's like, I got all, like, the, you know, the meme you know, trends out of my out of my system and it's like I'm, I'm not gonna actually lip sync on there even though i kind of have already but like <laughs> not like um no offense but all tiktok users should burn in hell okay on my way actually i already am there's a fire outside um tiktok is actually a fine platform it is just was made toxic because of the people on it. The platform itself, if there was like, you know, if it was like a fine community, it'd be fine. But um, because of the fact that it's all children and then also gamers, you know, if you know what I'm, if, you, if you're on TikTok, you know what I'm talking about. Um, essentially people who duet videos of cosplayers or furries or whatever, walk in with like clout goggles on look at the camera, punch it a couple times, and then land on it with their butt. And it's like, every, every single one is the same. 
I have I have one duet that was to an audio, and it's like if you're on TikTok, you know what audio it is, and it's like you're not even cute, and then it's like a siren, and it's like something something words, and then it's I'm drop dead gorgeous, and there's a beat drop, and I did that one with Bruno and Amaye, and um, people duetted it doing just like I there's probably like thirty duets out there, and I know that they're on cringe comps too, <laughs> um, but there's like thirty duets to it of people just like punching the screen and then going to walk away and then sprinting back and then like diving into the camera it's like well you're original <laughs> like did you just get a tiktok just to make those videos so you can maybe end up on a pewdiepie video yeah. oh god i hate i hate tiktok so much but i'm on it <laughs> see if you follow me on tiktok you know that i don't follow anyone on there i literally made it so i get in a cringe comp compilation and then i just continue making content because i actually quite like the cosplays on there and that's that's i actually started doing more cosplay stuff on there than furry stuff so i only actually do furry stuff when i find an audio that i think is funny for a fursuit um otherwise i just upload cosplay stuff but like i don't have any cosplay i mean i have a wig up there that i, I gotta cut to make it into a sasori wig or gara um because i could have the same wig for both of them um but uh like i, I did a bunch of l stuff but i feel like if i just keep doing l stuff it'll get repetitive <laughs> Alright, so I could goof with my friend to like that, but we're not like that. See, I'm okay with being on TikTok because I'm a, an adult. <laughs> I know, I'm not gonna get like perved on, especially looking like this, you know? Fuck, how do you feel that you're a grown human talking to a piece of compact junk? Um, do you mean that the fact that I'm talking to myself right now? <laughs> Because I am, I mean, it says it on my Tinder bio, I am a professional dumpster buyer. By the way, to whoever said were, uh, who were some good kimono makers, Kemotsuki, uh, K-Line, um, what's the person's name? They're on Instagram, I can't remember their name. Oh, they make such cute heads. Oh, um, what's their name, Matcha something? Where's my phone? Oh, it's over here. Oh, it's so far away. What is it? Plies, I feel like their name is? I don't know. They, they make really cute suits. Um, I'm sweating. Can you tell? Probably not. I feel like I look like a mess, and I apologize for that. It was actually really funny. Um, my mom, because they have, um, Mexican, I found out, ramen and I didn't know that was a thing. I actually drank two of them today. But they're, they're, <gasps> oh, wow, those are drippy, oh, <laughs> I got on my pants, did it get on the bird, no, but I got, uh, these are Mexican ramen, and you can, I know that because they're by the brand Pocas, um, plus there's a accent over the E in ramen, but they have them at the 99 cent store, but the 99 cent store is always like full of like homeless people outside and I was like, I was telling my mom, I was like, oh yeah, that apple ramen that you got was really good. She goes, oh, I got it at the 99 cent store. She goes, oh, you should go over there sometimes and get some, plus you can get like snacks there for super cheap. And I was like, yeah, but um, I'm scared to go there because of all the homeless people there because like, it's going to be really, because here's the thing, the homeless people, they're not just homeless people here. They are homeless, tweaker, mentally ill people. So it's like a triple threat. It's like, not only are they asking for money, but they're also tweaked out on drugs, but they also have schizophrenia, so it's like, triple whammy, um, uh, ooh, baby, triple, wow, that's old, um, but, uh, yeah, so it's really scary sometimes <laughs> to, to go to 99 cent store, and I've never actually been to a 99 cent store, but she goes, you just have to look homeless to go there, I was like, oh, yeah, I got that look down, I, I, <laughs> I got that covered. I genuinely look homeless, in my opinion, at least. <laughs> what are people liking? People like, like, the most random of my tweets sometimes.
Is this plugged in? Yep. Good. Mm. Okay, I just got a couple more pieces to do. It's almost bedtime though. Nine. Oh boy. See, usually I'd start streaming now, but like, I fixed my sleep schedule now. Like, I went to bed at eleven last night. Like, it's really late for me. Like, <laughs> like three days ago, I was going to sleep at like seven o'clock. <laughs> Waking up at like five, six a.m. It's it's crazy because I I feel like I don't know. It's it's harder for me to to be awake during the day because first of all I'm gonna deal with people, but like also um, I I feel like I have to feed myself if I'm awake during the day. At night I feel like I don't have to feed myself because it might, I'm like it's night time. It's not time to eat. You know. <laughs> which is not a good mentality because then I just don't eat. Um, but I also don't have to deal with the factory at night and whatever. Um, I can't sleep because of No Nut November. Aren't you a child? I made a No Nut November post on um, on TikTok because everyone was like, day whatever, blank of, of uh, No Nut November. I've learned to levitate. And I was like, day, it was on November 4th, I was like, day 4 of no, not November, uh, I was like, this is a normal day for me, because I'm a, uh, what did I say? It was like, I was like, I'm a good boy who follows the Church of Cthulhu, because I didn't want to say, like, I'm a good Christian boy, because, like, and I also didn't want to say I'm a good Mormon boy, because, like, um, and it was just me, like, doing, like, the, that, that dance, um, and then, oh wow. And then, like, progressively, like, then I had my Spider Man hat on, then my Toby mask, and then my Akatsu coat, coat, and the Toby mask. And then I had my Bad Dragon, too, and I was swinging it around. What did it, what's the, what's the caption? What, what did I caption it? Hold up. I said, Day 4 of No Nut November. This is a normal month because I'm a good boy who follows the Church of Cthulhu. That's what I said. Because I'm ace, so it's like... <laughs> it doesn't matter to me! <laughs> Which is ironic, because I... I, I <laughs> NSFW chat real quick for the children here. <laughs> um, not... Not... Uh, NSFW. But like, I, I got my bad dragon in the mail, and then I turned asexual. So it's like... Cool! Can't use this now! Spent 50 bucks for nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's a fun prop for TikToks when they don't get taken down. Plus, it glows in the dark, like, really strong. Like, to the point where it's like, if I leave it out charging, I could use it for, like, a light source for, like, three hours, probably. <laughs> I keep hearing about Kira, what's the controversy about? He, uh, is a zoophile, and he denied it, and said he got hacked, and then he got disproven, and then he didn't address it. Now he's under police investigation, because someone found actual video proof of him doing horrible, horrible, horrible things to his now-dead dog. And, like, I saw people saying, like, like, that poor dog died, and it couldn't be, like, it died because of, not because of what he was doing to it, 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 oh, well, it, it, it died because it had, like, it was old and had, like, kidney issues or whatever, but, like, I feel like if I, I'm gonna lean back, I should feel like I should bring y'all with me, lean back, um, no, I need this, oh, it's kind of sharky in here, um, feel like, nope, that's not what I was saying, um, oh, uh, it's so sad that, like, the poor dog died being used for something like that, you know, like, it, it, it I don't know how long he, he did stuff to that poor animal, but, like, I don't know, it's just, it's so messed up, like, I can't fathom that, and, and like, I just, I, I really can't. Like, what goes through a person's mind and says, oh, this cute puppy with this happy wagging tail, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna choke it with my chode. Like, what? Who? Who thinks that? Oh, I'm gonna back it into a corner. Actual messages that Hero said. Oh, I'm gonna back it into a corner so it's easier. So messed up. He's just so angry. He's just so angry that he exists in the fandom. Uh, just yucky. But then I just walk in on. We're talking about Kiro. Which I already went on a rant on, but like. I guess. I guess we need more tea. I'm running. I'm running fresh out of hot tea. But. Just yuck. Fun fact I used to be friends with Kiro. And he followed me on Twitter up until. I, I blocked him. <laughs> but like. We used to talk all the time. Like, we used to go on calls and stuff. Like, I mean, not, it would, it was never just, like, the two of us. But, like, you know, when we were in a group chat together. And so the, the group would go on call all the time. So I talked to him on a fair, like, consistent basis. So, like, to hear that he was like that is, oh, disgusting. So nasty. Speaking of which, that reminds me. <laughs> um, so, as I said, I was in, so we were in a Vine for his group chat, and um, we would go on Google Hangouts all the time, and you can screen share in Google Hangouts, and BioGods would always screen share for whatever reason, um, and uh, he was BioGods would, would always be in, in chat with us, and he was he was a really nice guy. And so, he, he, uh, wasn't screen sharing, and then he goes, oh, guys, I'm tired, I'm gonna hit the hay, and we're like, okay, good night, uh, bio gods, sweet dreams, or whatever, and, oh, no, he was screen sharing, and then he left, and so, cause when he rejoined the call, he was still screen sharing, because if no one's screen sharing, it automatically goes back to who was screen sharing last, and, oh, and, um, and so he comes back, like, he, he says he's going to sleep, and then he comes back like 30 minutes later and he's, he has a screen shared. And he has E6, uh, uh, E621, is that, is that his website? He, he has E621 up, which is like, you know, YIF website. And re and he doesn't realize it for a long time. And, and we're all like, no, if no one says anything, we're like, oh my god. And we're like all like messaging each other in like DMs. And we're like, you see, you see this on a screen? Like, we, we all see this, right? Like, we're not making this up. And then he finally realizes, and he goes, oh. Uh, and then he, like, quickly start like, when we, like, he, like, quickly changed the subject of whatever we were talking about in conversation, because we all kind of went quiet. And we're like, he really, he really just, he, he really just left, he said he was going to go to sleep. He squeezed one out real quick, came back to the, to the, <laughs> to the video chat, and had proof of it. Like, ew! <laughs> I don't remember what it was on the, the E621, but, like, <laughs> I remember thinking it was really good. Fun fact. Um, okay, now I'm, because I'm sitting up again. Now I, I, uh, feel, like, gross having it down there. But, um, <laughs> BioGods never showed his face to my knowledge. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't follow his content. I actually find him very annoying, in my opinion. Nice guy, but annoying content. Um, I know what he looks like, though, and, like, I don't know. I don't want to say anything rude, but, like, that chat was really something when I was in it. It was, um, it was something. <laughs> I don't have anything good to say about that chat, really. Uh, I don't talk to anyone anymore who's in it, uh, Oh, fun fact! Uh, I used to be really good friends with Mark Sparks as well. Um, we used to talk all the time. Like we used to actually do PM, and um, <laughs> and then he got uh, started being friends with uh, popular for YouTubers, and then he literally stopped talking to all of us. <laughs> We're like, okay, we see how it is. You're just so popular now. You forget about us. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Um, 
Mark's cool though. We used to play uh, Jackbox games. Uh, because he had Jack the Jackbox games, and then you know we'd all join him and play with him, and it was really fun. I really enjoyed that, and uh, some really really funny jokes came out of it. Um, at the time, uh, yeah, that was a, that was a good time. And actually, recently, actually a couple streams ago, I don't know if that stream is still up because I, I delete some streams if I feel like I say something in it that I don't want to be on my YouTube, but. Um, because I talk a lot, and I, I don't know what I say a lot of the time, but, um, uh, uh, someone, someone from that chat messaged me on Telegram a little while ago, and I was like, oh, Bug is a Papa, yep, that's why my branding on most of social, my social media is Bug Papa, or Papa something. It's mostly something Bug, but, um, yes, Papa is also my branding. So you can also apply Papa Bless to me, if you so desire. I'm trimming all the I'm trimming all the the loose ends, by the way, just in case you're wondering what I'm doing, um, because when I shave the fur, it has all these like long ends, and uh, so, so when I sew it together, I can hide the seams. Um, and I'm just tr trimming all those now. Which I'm going to do a final shave later, so none of this will, I mean, some of these I won't, you know, need to reach, but it's just easier to do a trim like this. Anyway, I'm living near some wildfires right now. Me too! I'm on fire right now. Literally and figuratively. Because I'm sweating, because I can't have my door open. <laughs> because it's hot! I've said this before, but like we can't we can't catch a break in Southern California. Which first we have a we have a mass shooting right down the right down the street from me, literally twenty no like fifteen miles away. There's them, and it's it's where I used to live too, like the same town I used to live in, which is terrifying. It's a rich people town. Um, but uh, we have a mass shooting. A bunch of people die. And then Mother Nature's like, hey, a bunch of people just died, including a police officer? How about we light these mountains on fire? Uh-oh. No, power didn't go out because all my lights are on. I'm stupid. Uh, and it's not even, a, a year hasn't even passed since the last bad fire. Like, can we not catch a break here? I mean, in this county, at least, in Ventura County. But, like, I don't know. Um, and it's windy again, too! It, it is laggy, because my thing just reconnected. Um, probably because of the wind, too. But, uh, the, at the Thomas Fire, it, 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 it was super windy like this, so it spreads super quick, and that's what's happening again. Although I actually live in Canada, Canada is only the one. I really wish she sweet if she had interacted with more characters. I love how she sweet. Um, <laughs> like he got his eye taken and then like he like was like Itachi, take my other eye. Just takes it out casually and hands it. To me. And Itachi's like, <laughs> what? You, you just took your eye out and just with no, with no like strokes. Like here you go. <laughs> What? What is that? <laughs> it's a puzzle. It's not how this works. He's too cool for eyes. Even though he had like probably the like some of the most powerful eyes in the Uchiha clan. I've been reading a lot of Naruto uh, doujinshis lately, and they make me so happy. Like, I- <laughs> and some of them are smutty, because I'm an adult and I can enjoy things. But like, uh, like, I've been reading a lot of, um, Sasu Saku ones, because they make me so happy. <laughs> because like, we don't really see anything of their relationship ever, because like, obviously Sasuke was like, I have to repent for my sins, and then Sakura's like, okay, I'm gonna have a baby by myself! <laughs> then he comes back, 
just for some time, and then leave and whatever. Um, and so I really enjoy, um, uh, I really enjoy soft stuff because I like it. I like it showing like, although it's fan made, you know, it's still like showing how they fell in love, and it's like. <laughs> By this fursuit maker, are there any certain traits that you see that are super typical on suits? Dogs. Dogs are super typical. Um, basic markings, uh, like a dog would have. Just don't make a dog, and then you'll be unique. Simple as that. Or don't make a dog or a hyena. Those are like the most common fursuits, I think. Uh uh. Dog, wolf, or hyena. Uh oh, why is my throat sore? Is it because I've been shaving fur? Is it because I'm getting sick? Is it because I'm <laughs> I've been dying? Uh, is it all of the above? Who knows? Oh, is it because of the ashes outside? That's another option. God, I hope I'm not getting sick. I have no reason to get sick. I haven't left the house in like weeks. That's legitimate too. I don't know if that happens. Oh, it made it. Or if I have, it's been to go down the street to Wendy's because they have dollar fries right now. And uh, Papa, Papa doesn't have a lot of money, which is why I'm making this suit so I can have some money. But I know it's gonna go down the drain because I have no self control. Because I'm gonna see some ad come up on my Instagram for some cute Naruto shirt. I'm gonna be like, I need it, and I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> or I'll be like. You know what? Who I want to cosplay? Shino. And then buy a whole Shino cosplay. <laughs> Just something that's on my list that I want to buy. I'm sweating. Um, okay. My persona has a burrito dog called Master. Basset Hound. Okay. I made so it is a wolf shark. Congratulations. I've made a shark tail. It was really fun. It's my favorite tail I've ever made. And then I sold it. Uh, well, it was, I sold the whole suit. Um, but uh, yeah, shark tails are really fun to make. Um, yeah. Well, fun I am. And I need at least rest since I can't sleep. Good night. Okay. You just got fries. Congratulations. What did, oh, all I ate yesterday was pizza rolls, and I'm, okay, first off, I'm lactose intolerant. Second off, I have stomach issues. Um, I legitimately died yesterday. Like, it was, like, I was on the verge of, like, vomiting for, like, three hours straight. It was horrible. What did I eat today? Oh, yeah, I had two apples and peanut butter. It was so good. And then I felt sick because the apples were too acidic. <laughs> um, but I thought that the peanut butter would counteract that. But it's not like natural peanut butter. It's just like skippy or whatever. So it's like sugar. So it's like my stomach's like. Ugh! And I was like. Ugh! It doesn't taste good. Uh, and then I had two sandwiches. Which didn't fill me up at all. Because it was just like lettuce. Mostly. But like I can eat lettuce because it's just crunchy water. It doesn't hurt my stomach. And then I had a baked potato. I really like baked potatoes. Fun fact, my family owns a club, club called the Baked Potato. It's a jazz club that serves giant baked potatoes. Oh. I eat really healthy because I come from a vegan family. I'm vegetarian, but I'm fat. <laughs> I've been vegetarian since I was like five years old. Hey bugs, don't call me bugs. Uh, I has question, should I sleep tonight for once? Yes, sleep is good for you. I love backed potatoes. Why can't anyone type here? Big potatoes are top tier form. I if I had to choose one food, like one base food to eat for the rest of my life, it would be potatoes. Mashed potatoes, jacket potatoes, uh, baked potatoes, scallop potatoes. Just potatoes. Like, there's so many options. Fries.
But you know, you know what I, I, I used to do? My um I would buy like baby golden potatoes from like Whole Foods because like I don't know why, but they're better. Um the bag of them and boil them and then cut them in half, slap some butter on there, slap some sour cream on there, slap some chives on there if it's available, and just suck those puppies up. <clears throat> And I could eat, I could eat uh, baby golden potatoes, like, not raw, but, like, with nothing on them. Because they taste so buttery. God. I don't like, I don't like, um, roasted potatoes. Hash browns. <gasps> it's like a, it's like a Bubba Gum situation. <laughs> shrimp gumbo, shrimp sandwiches, shrimp barbecue, shrimp, you know, whatever. I like potatoes. And the thing is, potatoes are just like a, oh, sweet potatoes. Um, ooh, you know what's really good? Really, really good. Sweet potatoes with cinnamon, a little bit of honey, and walnuts. Like mashed in a bowl, like together. Delicious. One time I passed out at school. Well, almost. Uh, I Well, I did, and then I went home at, well, I was, what am I saying? I passed out at school, but I stayed at school because I couldn't go home. And then on the bus... It was because I didn't have a lunch period and I didn't eat, so I was, like, <coughs> dying. Um, <laughs> and I remember on the bus ride home, I was, like, super dizzy, and I was, like, about to throw up. And then, I, like, I, like, stumbled into my house, and then I passed out on the couch, and then I woke up, like, three hours later. And then my mom was, like, are you dying? And I was, like, yeah. And she goes, here, have some mashed sweet potatoes with the aforementioned. So, like, cinnamon, honey, and walnuts. Because I needed protein, and I, like, was, <coughs> oh, it's so good. Same with, like, if you do that with butternut squash, too. It's really good. Um, <laughs> I just like mushy foods, can you tell? <laughs> Actually, that's very true. I just thought about it for a second, and the majority of the food I eat is, like, mushy or liquid. Like, I eat ramen, I eat soup, I eat potatoes, and I eat bean burritos. Just like, 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 from Taco Bell. But, which is just like a two beans <laughs> so good and that's all i eat pretty much although i do occasionally have in and out but it's like a 30 minute drive to in and out so it's like by the time i get home it's cold and like not as good you should try spaghetti squash no thanks i'm actually not a big squash fan i like butternut squash but that's about it unless it's like fried zucchini zucchini is a squash fun fact um but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a big squash guy. <laughs> not my, ooh, not my thing. Oh, I have water. Buy me in and out, no. Did you like that good throat action? I did. I actually, I don't know, I'm like obsessed with necks. <laughs> like the tendons they're fun you have pets yep I had one out earlier but you missed it I wipe my mouth and now they just fell all over my face I always just like I'm covered in a fine layer of fur and it sucks One time, um, for a vine, I stuck a clump of fur in my mouth because I was like, eating as a fursuit maker, and I was like, eating food, and, and I like, was putting food in my mouth, and then like, I cut the vine, and then I put a clump of fur in my mouth, and tried to like, make it funny, but I actually threw up because of it. Because, <laughs> uh, it got down my throat, and I couldn't cough it up, and my body was like, ah! And so I threw up. <laughs> It was like a big clump of fur too. It was like it was like it was like something like this. So it's like it's understandable why. It's not like I just like put like a little puff in my mouth. I like I have a lizard, but he's been sleeping for a while now due to the weather. Oh, he's in brumation. My little lady, where is she? I don't know. I have a little leopard there. Um, but was it worth it? Absolutely not. Uh, you, you know, I, I dare you. I mean, I don't think you can go back to find my vine. But, um, there's at least three vines where I gag. One is that one with the fur. One is, um, <laughs> me and my friends were, uh, making vines and, uh, with our, uh, 
the headphone mics and putting them in her mouth and like sucking them in and spitting them out and I sucked it in too hard and <laughs> it like went in my throat and I gagged and that's a screenshot that some of my friends have uh, well I'm not friends with them anymore but well I don't know but uh that, that, that's a screenshot that exists somewhere on the internet. Actually, it's on my old old Instagram. So if you have access to that somehow, it's on there. Um, there's another one I gagged in. It was probably something with Nicole. I don't know. Which is saying something. Cause I don't I don't gag easily. I'm not I'm not one of those like people. Like obviously, if something's shoved down my throat, I'll gag. But I don't gag because something's gross. Um, actually, the only thing that makes me gag is snot and saliva. Fun fact. Like, if someone, like, I mean, if someone spits on the ground or, like, blows their nose, it's like, you know, whatever. But if someone sneezes and, like, snot shoots out, it's, like, disgusting. Or, like, dog drool, disgusting. Can't handle it. When I worked at a dog place, there was this, um, uh, Tibetan Mastiff named, uh, Raja, and he was massive his paw was like the size of my hand and his drool ugh, it was so gross and he had a nice nice habit of letting it letting his drool accumulate and as soon as you walked into his run he would shake so would just fly and slap on your leg and we all wore shorts uh shorts because the the job required a lot of water plus it was summer and oh it's just so disgusting so nasty like i i would much rather which i almost said i almost uh slipped and fell in a pool of uh saint bernard diarrhea i'd rather do that than get dog drool because i also would wear crocs so i would step in, in dog poop and it just go in the crocs it's disgusting and i just take my foot out and close it off <laughs> my job was quite disgusting actually i quit it because um well actually fun fact What's your mind called? Uh, it was Bubertech. But, um, um, I, I stretched my, both my ears back then, and I stretched up to a zero, which I did too fast and broke my, it, like, it, it, uh, broke my ears. And, um, ugh, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, and I went into work the next day at the dog place, and, which is a very dirty, dirty place, and, I left them in for a couple days, and I was like, wow, these, the swelling's not going down, like, I think something's wrong, and, like, I left them in for a little bit longer, I was like, they just gotta heal until I can twist them again, and I couldn't twist them, and then I started, like, being very feverish, and I was really stupid, <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna take these out and go back down a size, and I couldn't get them out, and I was like, my, and my mom's a nurse, and I was like, my, there's something wrong, she goes, I told you you shouldn't have stretched your ears, and I was like, <laughs> and then I had to get them out by, like, doing a syringe motion and I push it okay really gross so if you're squeamish even like obviously you, there's no visuals but even if you're squeamish by words don't listen <laughs> but push it out and it, it just like here I'll demonstrate with this so like say say this is like an inf wait I took the wrong oh wait no wait hold up you just ow get, get off there we go so like say say this is like an infected thing so I, I went like this to to push it out and it goes out like that just a little bit and like so much pus came out and I was like I started sobbing because it hurt so bad I was like <laughs> and then I take it out completely and there's like pus like dripping and I was oh it was so gross and then I take the other one out and it's just like caked in pus and like oh it was so disgusting and then I go to urgent care, and the lady, the lady was an old woman who obviously didn't, uh, approve of body mods, and she, she was so rough with, like, scraping it for her culture, she goes, you, you shouldn't have done this, <laughs> like, I was like, Ugh. I was, like, flinching away, she goes, no, you have to do it, I was like, <laughs> and, um, she goes, you know why you're acting so stupid like this, because the infection spread to your brain, and I was like, <laughs> like, um, oh, what's his name? The, the zappy kid from, uh, Bug and I Hero, when he uses too much of his voltage and he's like, that was me. <laughs> I was so stupid. And I had to, I was on antibiotics for so long and, and I had to, like, put cream on them. Oh, it was so bad. And this one, um, I mean, I still have the piercing, um, hole. Like, I can put things in it. Um, but, 
yeah, at this point, it doesn't let me stretch anymore. And there's like, I actually recently just tried to stretch back up to zero, and it wouldn't let me. So I think I'm stuck at a two, even though I'm really angry because I just buy, bought zero tapers, or taper, a double zero taper, and double zero uh, plugs. But I can't get up there, apparently. I'm going to try and get a, 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 a one, one gauge when I have money next, um, to see if that helps. But yeah. <laughs> Oops, that's not tight. But, um... Moral of the story, don't stretch your ears too fast. I, I kept skipping numbers, and I kept, like, three weeks after it healed, I would stretch up, and it's, like, so unsafe. Like, now I, I wait, like, months and months and months. Like, I stretch, stretched up to a 2G, like, back in, like, I don't know, July, and now it's November, and I'm still at a 2G. Like I said, I just tried to go back up to a zero, but... Uh, it wouldn't let me, so, and I'm not gonna push it, and I left it in, I left it in, um, I put it, like, in halfway, and then I was gonna try and push it in each more every day, and I, like, halfway, maybe a little over halfway in, and, and then I started getting pain, like, up this side of, and I always get pains in this side of my neck because, um, I have tension in the shoulder from sewing, so that's normal, but I was getting it in this side, and, like, up here, and, like, back here, and I was like, what if it's infection? What if I'm dying again? So I like, took it out. I was like, <gasps> and then I changed it to this one because instead of my green one, because I feel like because acrylic ones they're porous, so all that nasty bacteria can get in there. I was like, I'm gonna switch to a new one. So I have this one, and it has like, um, it's like inside and it's like faceted, so it looks like a jewel, but it's not. That was a lot of words in in the span of no time that no one cares about. <laughs> I really like body mods, but I'm I'm always scared. Like I want to get piercings and stuff, but like, um, I'm I'm scared to to go to shops alone. Like I have too much anxiety to to do that. I've been wanting to get my shark tattoo actually professionally done for <laughs> months now, but uh, I'm too scared to to try and make an appointment at a tattoo shop because I'm a big old wuss. It'll be so easy. You just gotta be like, the, it's already, it's already there. You just gotta reline it. <laughs> Cause I, it was a stick and poke, but I ran out of ink. Um, but plus, I'd, I'd, I'd rather it have like proper lines, you know, than just dots. This one was a stick and poke I did. The whole life. I'm like really sweating now. I should probably stop. I'm going to I'm going to sew the two halves of the face together, do a quick shave, and then I'm I'm not gonna glue it tonight. It's too hot. Although I don't know how it is outside. How do you spell it? How do you spell what? How do you spell it? <laughs> IT <laughs> Silence. Well, disgusting. I, I don't have anything to talk about. You sound just like my cousin. Uh, I feel sorry for your cousin. I never talk in like the same voice for longer than, I don't know, half a sentence. I don't know. <gasps> okay. Oh no, okay, that's fine. Oh. How do these go together? Um, so this is here, and then this is... Oh, that's right! This... Wait a second. This attaches with this. Oh, right, okay. And then, uh, that attaches, okay. Sometimes I look like you, I feel disgust. I think you mean disgusted. And I doubt that you look like me. 
It takes a special kind of talent to look like this. Especially with this hair color. I was just inhaled a piece of fur that just decided to float by. Um, you can't really tell, but I have a hair color that uh, hairdressers, like my entire life, hairdressers have been like, I want to steal this hair right off your head. I can never make a dye this color. Oh, I'm so jealous of your hair color. And it's like, <laughs> because I have, I have, uh, I mean, that's kind of rude to say, but I don't know what you're talking about, but, um, my hair color, it's, it's, I, I have the, I don't know, it's red, but if I'm out in the sun, it goes reddish blonde, and if I'm not in the sun, it's this color, which looks brown on camera, um, but it's, it's like, it's red, <laughs> it's like a deep red color, um, and the thing is, I also have, uh, silver hairs, I've had silver hair my entire life, and it's not blonde hair, it's, it's actual, like, like, I have gray hairs, um, might have been because I've been under stress since I was little wee child, but, uh, who knows, <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I have, like, I have red, I have dark red hairs, I have regular red hairs, I have blonde hairs, and then I have, uh, silver hairs, so I have, like, a very unique hair color, that's a brag, <laughs> that's, like, I feel like that's, like, one of those, like, odd flex, but okay, things, but it's true. I've had, I've had, oh, what did I just do? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've had hairdressers my whole life tell me that they want to steal the hair off my head, which is, what the heck? Which is creepy. Wait, no, it's mine. Not for you. What happened? Are you joking? Am I going to have to waste all this thread? Oh my god, I'm going to kill myself. Who's living? It's not worth it. <sighs> Hairdresser, I'm gonna rip the hair off your head. I mean, not really. The, the last one that was weird was a Persian lady, um, which is when I moved out here, I wanted to dye my hair a color, and she goes, no, your hair's not good for it, and I was like, okay, what do you mean? Like, I didn't, I didn't realize. What I have found out is that my hair is resilient. Like, it, my hair is, is so, I, 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 real, real fact, I have bleached it three times in one day, and it did not die. It was completely healthy, it was not fried, it didn't feel like, you know, nasty, stringy nastiness. It was completely fine. And she was saying, oh, no, your hair's not good for it, because she did a test. But um, I, I think just my mom, like, told me, like, don't, don't, let, don't, don't dye the hair blue, or whatever. Um, <laughs> and so I dyed it, like, a, like, a, like, like, like this color. Like, this, this, like, okay. We're going to come over here for a second, just so you can see, like, this color, except more purpley. Um... Like, what that color looks like in real life. Um, you know what? This is better only. I'm gonna stay over here. Except there's glue in the way that's preventing things from being proper. Ow! I just stabbed myself. Cool. Now you can see the garbage that I am in light. <laughs> Rather than being backlit. Um, oh yeah, but this Persian lady, I had really long hair at the time. Like, down to my butt. And, and she's like, touching she goes oh this is so perfect like uh she had short hair she goes oh I, I i wish i had hair like this um uh and then she because uh she was cutting um my my uh, not side bangs but she was because i didn't have bangs it was all one line but she was cutting it so i kind of did just so it wasn't like the front piece wasn't the same as you know the the same length as the back piece so she cut it so it was like down to here and she was like, I'm going to keep this and put it on my head. And I was like, okay. And you know what? You know what made me so angry? I had hair down to my butt. And then I cut it to here. 
but I couldn't donate it because half of it was still dyed. So much hair, like a foot and a half or more, no, more, like two feet of hair went to waste. A little cancer kid could have had a beautiful wig out of that hair because it was perfectly healthy. Um, if anyone wants to know the secret to hair, um, uh, don't wash it. Literally. Um, I have psoriasis on my scalp, so I can't wash it very often, um, or else my scalp literally bursts into flames. Um, it's the same with my skin. Fun fact, if I, if I use certain soaps, or if I use, like, if I, say, if I shower, if I showered every day, and I washed my skin every day, my skin would, like, fall off. Pricks of being a white ginger. <laughs> um, to show your hair into your fursuits. Oh, I'm sure it does. Actually, no, because it's too short, but, like, um, <laughs> like, if I had long hair, it would fall out and just, like, get stuck in there. Um, but just don't, don't wash it that often, because the oils in your scalp is good for you. I mean, obviously, it, it, it's, like, matted down from the grease like gross wash your hair but like um yeah just don't wash it often and i just i don't put heat on it but the other thing is i have naturally pin straight hair like my hair has never been wavy in my life it's it's like like i used to flat iron it because all the all the other people like uh, all the other girls in, in in my grade in like eighth grade were flat ironing their hair so i was like i have to flat iron my hair but like all all flat ironing my hair did was make it staticky <laughs> like because it was like too like too straight it's the only straight thing about me <laughs> um <laughs> um but uh yeah there was no reason to flat iron my hair like it it was so stupid but um yeah like it's if my hair was long you would be able to see that it's you know let's find a picture of me with long hair Y'all will be blown out of your minds. I'll keep sewing while Facebook loads. I don't use Facebook anymore. Don't try and find me on there. Not that you could. Um. People are talking about the male shearing still. I mean, of course, it just happened, guys. I wash my hair on the weekends. I. God knows how, how often I wash my hair. Not often. I don't shower often. Hello? Why isn't this not? Nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Um, I mean, my hair's short, so I, I barely wash it. But when I do wash it, I, I use medicated shampoo when it's this short. Because there's no reason to use, like, proper shampoo. Plus the medicated shampoo just, like, extra prevents the uh, psoriasis. See if I have a picture of me with long hair on my Facebook. Oh, I do. Um. Well, you cringe. It's up in this picture, but you can see how long my hair was. Isn't that crazy? Look at how giant that cat is as well. But like, my that was my hair up in a ponytail, and it was still reaching like my lower back. My thighs were skinny legends back then. What the heck? That's not fair. Here's another here's another picture of my hair of how far down it went. This was actually right after I dyed it. It was a uh, an ombre. So it was like dark red and then black. I miss having long hair. TBH. Ooh, y'all want to see a picture of me in uh, what year is this? God, I was so skinny back then. What the heck happened? I think this was 2013. Look how ugly I was. Who let that exist? I mean, arguably I look the same. <laughs> I mean, but I really don't. Look how much skinnier I was there than I am now. Probably like a good like 50 pounds lighter. I, I was wearing short shorts. Ew. God. Ew. Ooh, I'm debating showing this photo to you guys. It's eighth grade formal. So I was 13. 
cringe. Ooh, and then graduation. Oof, extra cringe. See, this doesn't look like me, in my opinion. Wow. <laughs> oh, there we go. In my opinion, that this face, that's not... Who is that? that? That doesn't look like anyone in my family. It's definitely not me. <laughs> anyway, that's what I looked like when I was 13. <laughs> I think. Eighth grade? 14. Yeah, I was 14. So I was like your guys' age. You're not- I'm allowed to say ew, you're not allowed to say ew. Because I don't know you. If I knew you, you'd be allowed to say ew. But because you're some child on the internet, you're not allowed to say ew. That was when I was- that's not even your age. That's older than me then. I don't have a picture from that way back. Although, it would have been, like, me wearing a shirt that says, Brian, you say love you in dinosaur. Or, or in a magic shirt. Ooh, my stomach really hurts. I need to get this done, like, now. Before I throw up. I won't throw up. I won't allow it. But, uh, feels like it. I remember I had a friend who was, like, obsessed with, like, she, I, she wasn't obsessed with anime so much, but she was obsessed with, like, Vocaloid and all that stuff, and, um, I remember she was, like, I dress like an adult. <laughs> she, she had this, this hoodie obsession where she always had to wear a hood, and then she would wear, like, um, like, uh, hand warmers, so, like, you know, things that go here and then, like, up to here, and then she would wear, like, some, like, either skinny jeans or like leggings and she was like I dress like an adult and I was like mm, I don't think so because <laughs> I was like I know I don't dress like an adult because I'm a child but like you definitely don't dress like an adult she was I didn't like her she she had a lot of problems I think and that's why she was the way she was but like I, she was she could be very insulting sometimes like I remember um, at the time I was really into singing. I did singing competitions and I was practicing and, and uh, she started singing along with me and she goes, we're both such bad singers. And I was like, I don't think I'm bad. She goes, <laughs> and I was like, I, I got second place in the singing competition that year. It, it was a statewide thing too. So it's like, what do you mean I sing bad? I actually broke my voice because of that singing competition. So now I sing bad. Um, but that's beside the point. I don't care about that anymore. It's not part of my life anymore. Um, where did this go? Go this way. Where did it go? Yeah. Wait. Uh, what? Huh? Oh wait. Oh wait. Hold. Up. Hold up. Hold up. I think so. Something together. Let's have a dare. Um, let's have a dare? Yeah. I'm down! Sneeze. Okay, what are y'all saying? She throwing shade. Ooh, I remember back then, uh, I was really into books, and so was she. And, um, I was talking about this book that I was, like, really into. And she had read it already, and because I, I was like, I was like, oh, you like this series too? Like, let me talk to you about it because I'm so excited. Like, I'm I'm almost done with this, the this book. And she goes, hmm, that was my least favorite one. This, this, and this happens at the end, and I was like, okay, it's fine. You didn't care about what happened at the end, apparently. <laughs> and I was so angry because she spoiled it, and like, I didn't want to be rude, um, and be like, you. File it! File it! So, yeah. I totally dress like a, an adult wears fingerless gloves. I mean, this was back in... 20... Nope, it was 20... 2010, 2009. Not 2008. How old am I? It's hard to it's hard to correlate my age with grades because I was one of the oldest in the grade, so I'm not like the typical age 
that someone would be for, you know, a grade back then. Um, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, 10%. Oh boy. Um, I should probably just let the stream end. Uh, no, that's not how this works on YouTube. I'll probably just end the stream. Um, I don't want to end the stream. Well, there's only five people here. It doesn't matter. Um, I feel like I simultaneously got a lot done, but also got nothing done. I got, I got this side of the face done, but I also did a lot of yelling and ranting. But, like, when don't I do that? Adults wouldn't wear fingerless gloves. And, oh, yeah, I know. But MySpace still existed. Actually, MySpace was on its way out, and Facebook was, like, the thing. Like, oh, I remember we'd do, like, rates. You'd be like, like, like my status for a rate. Like my status for a TBH. You know, those things. And then TBH. Or it would always, it would always be like, like my status for a TBH and a rate. And I would always say eight. And, like, if I didn't know what to say to someone, like, if I was, like, if I didn't want to be rude, I'd be like, it's an eight, but turn it on its side so it said infinity. <laughs> so dumb. I was, like, basic white girl back then. I need my Starbucks. You know, that kind. Growing up in a high school or a middle school where people all acted the same was very toxic for me. <laughs> it's a beautiful song. Thank you. Um, I wish I wish I was born when MySpace was a thing. No, you don't. I mean, you you were you were born when MySpace was a thing. You just weren't a cohesive human being yet. Two thousand three, MySpace was like popping back then. I was too young for a MySpace, according to my parents. Um, I did have a MySpace for a hot minute, um, but I you know. It, it wasn't like, like I said, MySpace was on its way out and Facebook was on its way in. So I, I'm mostly at Facebook. I did also have AOL Messenger. Um, well, my, me and my sister shared one. Um, but uh, yeah, I me mean, 2018 ain't so bad. I never said it was. I just miss the days when kids act. I sewed something wrong, I'm convinced. Because this is wrong. Huh? Why is this like. Okay, I'll have to figure something out because this is incorrect somehow. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I'm so used to yelling tomorrow, I don't feel like yelling anymore today. I'm tired. My painkillers are wearing off, so I'm feeling all of the pain. And that's not good. <coughs> wow, I love going to, to speak, and instead I just choke. That's pretty fun. I like if it's a quick once over shave just while while I'm here existing. Yeah, like this. It's not good. Oh jeez, it's knocked over. Oh, I didn't sew that together. Whatever. Sew that together tomorrow. Sew in the- ouch. So I gotta sew the- gotta sew first thing. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just pinning everything on so it's nice and, like, snug to the base. Okay, is that pinned on? Yeah.
Okay, maybe there is. Definitely wrong here. Oh, I figured it out. Fifteen was sewn on wrong. Okay. I sewed fifteen on backwards. You know what I caught that. I'm gonna die any minute now. I don't just stab myself. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that hole there because I can't. I don't want to do all these stitches right now. You know, I gotta do these because I'll forget. I apologize if uh, y'all are saying anything and I'm just not not reading it. So what? Do you line the insides of your head? Yes. Please line. It's easier to line it, um, in my opinion. Then using a Bolotov. Bolotov is like, I don't know, it's just like that extra thing that you gotta remember. Addy, Addy. This is making my sweat levels go up by like 8 billion. Because it's like tedious and like finicky. See, this is a problem when you got good stitching, when you got good hand stitching, because then it's hard to undo the stitching. sewing scissors for this, not this little... What? That's gross because you're like sitting in your own sweat. Everyone is always sitting in their own sweat. Think about it. Ooh, the lights... Ow, I can't see it. But the lights in my eyes, you can see that they're brown. I mean, not that if you looked at them like this, not that you would think that they were any other color, but like... I've actually got quite light brown eyes, but because I'm always half-lidded, they look dark. Because I don't have enough energy to, to open my eyes all the way. Actually, I do. I actually scare people a lot because um, in school, or in the third school I was in, I should say, um, when I was in independent study, there was this uh, girl who sat at my table, and she would, like, call my name, and I would, like, look at her with, like, the widest... Whenever someone calls my name, I, like, like it's, like, deer in the headlights, and, and like, I remember she called my name, and I was like, yeah? And she goes, why are you looking at me, at, at me like that? And I was like, what? And she goes, you're just like, and I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't, it's just how I just how I respond to people when they call me names. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm gonna freak you out. Okay, let's pin this. I'm just gonna put this down. Like, boop. I got a lot, I got a lot done today. I'm proud of myself. And this goes. very confused as to how this goes together. Look at this side. Looks like this. That doesn't seem right. Whatever. See the hiccups? Uh, boo! Are they gone now? They better be. That was terrifying. Okay. Whenever I'm put on the spot, my mind usually breaks down. My mind's always in a constant state of breakdown.
Okay. Give me a general gist of, of this. Um, it, that this, it, I mean, clearly isn't sewn. It's not sewn a lot in here. Um, but I'm just gonna give this a quick, quick shape. Usually I do this after it's glued, but I just want this to look nice and clean. Okay, whatever. I just want to get those snarly lines clean. Look at those snarly lines. I'm so proud of that. Like, I'm so, I'm so proud of that. I mean, obviously, it's not sewn down the middle, so it's going to look cleaner once I do that. But I'm going to end the screen because I'm tired. But, um, oh, just in case y'all want to see what it looks like on. Ah, never mind. I just stabbed myself. <gasps> Oh, actually, it's, there's a mark. Or is that a freckle? I can't tell. <laughs> was that there before? Someone tell me. Uh-oh, I'm on 5%. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I can't see. Because there's, like, fur in the way. But also, he's gonna have really bad vision. Um, because of how thick his brows are. It'll be like side vision. Anyway. Ugh. We're ending the stream now. Ugh. Gross. Ugh. I hate that feeling. I hate the feeling of just having fur just like all over my face. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you've been here this long, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I've only been streaming. I don't know. Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep. You guys probably should too, unless you live in a completely different time zone that's, uh, not American. Um, yep. Bye. <laughs>